Just doing a bit more work on the uh, road layout here. And I'm just going to make a road that comes round the, round the back of this tennis court. This is going to be like a, a car park here. Um, so, road coming in. This won't actually be dri driven on, or well, not at the moment anyway. Um, I might lay in a magnetic strip just in case, but that isn't the plan. Um, I'm going to have a pavement around here. So just build that up a bit. I'm using smooth it, so I just poured that in there and let that set because there was a bit of hole there, and this is where the drive through McDonald's is going. So this will be going here. I just want to make the at uh, the back. I'm going to have um, some seating area and some other little bits, um, but this was lower, so I just built that up. But, uh, that's all blending in nicely. Yet. Uh, here we're just using the Woodland Scenics paving tape. So I've laid out the edge of the road and I'll now pour that with Smooth It to bring the road level up. Um, works really well, just runs straight in there and levels itself out. Great stuff, um, easy to use. Uh, we'll show you a bit more. Okay, I thought I'd just show you a quick video of this, uh, how we use the Smooth It stuff from Woodland Scenics. And that's their subterrain system, uh, so that's the smooth it. I've used the pavings tape, so that's all laid down. So you use one cup of water to two cups of the smooth it, as it says on the instructions. So one cup of water. Uh, so I'm going to do this with one hand to two cups of smooth it. One. Put that into the water. And another one. Not a lot left in there. Okay, and then it says stand for a minute to let the water soak in. So I'm just going to get that extra bit of okay, dust so over. Let it stand for about a minute, and you can see that the powder started to uh, absorb the water. So I'm going to give it a stir. And get it all consistent. Once it's uh, nicely stirred and consistent, we can pour it into where we want it, and it self levels into the area. So I'll just stir okay, it. So it's all mixed up. Let's uh, go for it. It does level in itself really well. This stuff, it's uh, it's pretty great stuff to work with. To be honest with you. Um, Okay, so smooth it's I've laid in uh, using the seagulls around the back of the tennis court. Uh, gone in a treat, absolutely smooth as anything. So uh, when that's set tomorrow, I can then finish off the roads going around there, getting them painted in right now, and uh, We'll just sand it down a touch, that's all nice and level, and then that is it. Tennis court's looking glorious there now, it's inserted in it. You wouldn't know if you dropped it into place, would you? You just imagine it's going to be a pavement area here, uh, maybe uh, more people to go in, people sat watching the tennis. There's a guy, um, I don't know if, you can, if I can zoom in here, but... And here there's a guy pulling beer and there's a waiter serving. Yeah. And here there's, look, sausages <laughs> being served. All this lights up, so uh, inside there there's lights inside there. Um, all the floodlights work. The um, telephone antenna flashes. 
it's uh, starting to come together. At, uh, by the time we put some car parking area here for the guys playing tennis and some flowers and all other sorts of things. Might be a florist shop down here or something. And it's going to look pretty good. This road that comes around the back here, I'm going to have this as a construction site, so like road construction. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what we're going to do that later. Um, going to use mainly bush products. Uh, try and show you guys how good they are and uh, what you can do with them. All these products you can see in the tennis court area are made by bush. Uh, we've got all these in stock, or if they're not, we can get them very quickly. Uh, keep an eye on what we're doing. Cheers guys, bye.